Hello everyone. So, have you seen Pacific Rim yet? When you watched it, did you think, hey, that might make for a good video game? Well, I've got news. There actually is a Pacific Rim video game called Pacific Rim the Video Game. It was released on Xbox Live Arcade uh, earlier this month, July the 12th, actually. I didn't say this was good news. I said news. It's made by Ukes, one of the primary developers whom, when you hear their name, you kind of wonder, can't they just stop making video games? So, Pacific Rim is basically a, a slow-paced fighter, as you might expect from giant robots. There's a few things we can do. There's single-player, multiplayer, there's customization options, but let's just go through the single-player. This is not the demo, by the way. I bought this game for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why. These are the missions I've gone through. I haven't gone through all of them, but we won't be going through all of them because I... Let's just start from the beginning. So this is the tutorial fight, where we control Gypsy Danger as we go up against Knifehead, the first kaiju from the movie. And you can see we can do our basic attacks, we can punch, whoops, punch with both hands. We can use powerful moves. We can block. There are some special moves we can use. We can maneuver by running around and sort of hopping about to sort of getting to get in and out of position. As it says, the Jaegers are controlled with two pilots, as in the movie, so I have two uh, health bars on Gypsy Danger, while Knifehead only has one. If one of those health bars goes down to zero, I lose control over one of my arms. And then if both go down to zero, I just lose. I almost got that power move off, but Knifehead blocked me. When we get stunned and we go down, we have to press all four buttons to get back up. If you've ever played Real Steel, also on Xbox Live Arcade, had a similar system. You had to pound all the buttons to get up. I believe that was also made by Ukes, and was also another cheap cash-in of a movie. Real Steel did well enough in the box office. I don't know how well the game sold. Pacific Rim, of course, having a lot more hype behind it. Of course, that has not really helped it at the box office either. But if you were looking for a video game that was attempting to sell itself solely on its name, Pacific Rim the video game does just that. Actually, I should probably just start paying attention. This is only the tutorial battle, and I'm not doing too well. And by the way, I can see those blades. I can retract them, pull them back out. So we have two different stances we can use with Gypsy Danger. We can either use swords or not. My power level is low. You see in the lower left-hand corner that percentage between my life bars, and that's a bad thing, because everything I do uses energy. If I attack, it uses energy. If I dodge, it uses energy, and my special attacks take a lot of energy to use. So, oh, I stunned him. Knocked him down, and now I can stomp. The more I hit him, the more my energy goes up. Now there we go. So, if we use a lot of attacks miss a lot, it's going to be bad because our health, is, or sorry, our energy is going to go way down and we won't have too many options that we can use. That's just a tutorial battle. I did very badly in it, even though I won. Alright, continue on. There's no really any kind of story mode or cutscenes or anything really at all in the game to, to care about or uh, become emotionally involved in. This 
Character select screen also looking a lot like real steel. We can choose Gypsy Danger. We can choose the Russian uh, Jaeger Eternal Alpha, Crimson Typhoon from China. We can also choose from Kaiju, such as Knifehead and Leatherback. You can also create Jaegers. We won't bother choosing those because I haven't really done anything with that. If that loads up, yeah. You can just use the, the parts from the existing Jaegers. Put them together, I guess. You have to level them up, though, to be able to do too much of that, so right now, I really can't do a whole lot with it. We won't bother with that because, hey, it would have to be a good game if we wanted to bother with the create a fighter function, so let's not do that. Okay, Cherno Alpha. We can, based on how many fights I've been doing, I guess, how many points I have, I can make him stronger or weaker. We might as well go stronger, right? Why choose weaker over stronger? We can also choose a special boost... Speed up, fortify, sustain energy, HP booster, power booster. Might as well go with speed up because Chernar Alpha is kind of slow. He could use a speed boost. All right, our first non-tutorial fight, and look at that wonderfully modeled city. You think about how how good Hong Kong looked in the movie? And the game gets it just right, doesn't it? Oh, almost got my power move off. And of course, that's the risk of doing the stronger moves they take longer to do. And since I missed it, I just wasted all of that energy. So as you can see, it's a very slow plotting game. Most of the game is really about getting into position. Trying to predict. Oh, hold on, he's stunned. Let me use this power move. There we go. That, that was very quick. That's because I stunned him and was able to hit him straight on with that power move. So like I said, most of the game is pretty much just trying to predict what the opponent will do. It's not fast at all. It's not like you have to keep, keep up with any kind of fast action. It's just that both characters will be blocking, and you have to try to time it so that you punch when they unblock. So it's a guessing game, really. Mind games... You see, the Pacific Rim is all about the psychological. Except I'm playing against the computer. Maybe if you were playing against the second player, it would be about the psychological. Let's use Crimson Typhoon. Uh, let's use Power Booster, why not? Going up against Knifehead again, you might have noticed... That, uh, I went, went by pretty fast, but the mission briefing said we now have to fight two Kaiju. Oh no, guess which two? Go on. Guess. If you said the two that we already saw, yes, that is, that's the correct answer. Crimson Typhoon, having things like ranged attack, he shoots that stuff. He can also has, he also has two uh, stances, brings out these buzz saws. Like I said, using our rockets to move around quickly also uses energy, which is a shame because you have to judge how often to do things like that, you know, those little jumping around, try to dodge and get in position. Very limited in what you can do because you'll waste your energy real fast doing that. As you can see in the lower left, it says not enough energy which means I'm very low and can't actually do anything. I guess I understand putting that in for the try for some kind of gameplay balance, I guess, an attempt at doing that. I don't know, though. I've, I've watched the movie. I don't really remember any part of the movie where the, the pilots had to monitor energy levels of the Jaegers. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to attack or move. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Maybe that was in there. I don't think it was. I 
just don't have enough energy to do anything, really. Like I said, if we can hit, then we'll get energy back, even though we use energy for doing attacks. It's attacking and missing that we want to avoid, because we don't get any energy back for doing that. And, let me dodge, yep. Oh, he got me with the second hit. He's stunned? He is, great. I don't have enough energy to do anything big. Oh, he's not dead yet. There he is, okay. So you can see that doing the dodge is important in things like dodging that, uh, the kaiju special attack right there. Strike a pose. So as you can see, it's not like a fast-paced fighting game, it's more like a slow-paced, uh... F fighting fighting game. Where you can't really do a whole lot. And there apparently are two levels, two stages so far. You might have noticed most of the fights taking place in this shallow water. Well, shallow to the Jaegers and the Kaiju, not so much to everything else. Actually, no, this is a different water stage than the first one. The first one had glaciers. This one has aircraft carriers in it, so a completely different water stage. I'm actually surprised I got that power move off. I thought I was going to get hit first. The other stage we've seen was Hong Kong. Which we already commented on how well modeled that looked. And we could do a... let's call it a stage fatality, why not? Knocked him through the aircraft carrier. Well, it's the aircraft carrier's own fault for hanging around this fight. Why would they even be here? That seems incredibly dangerous. So, are you impressed yet? You think this is a, a worthy video game to the movie that just came out? Or do you think that this is just up on Xbox Live Arcade so they could have a game called Pacific Rim the video game up so people who just watch the movie see it and then buy it sight unseen? You think that's maybe why it's there? Yeah. Yeah, so do I. We've used all of the um, Jaegers available to us. The Australian Jaeger, Stryker Strike Eureka was his name? He's, I have not He's not in here yet. I assume he must be in here because there are so few Jaegers and Kaiju in the movie already, I can't imagine that they left some out in the game. That I can't imagine that they would do that. We haven't tried a Kaiju yet, so let's use Knife Head. I haven't used the boost items yet, that's right. I'll try to remember to do that. Let's use Speed Up. Okay, so this mission is a Jaeger drill. We have to fight a Jaeger. Could do it as a Jaeger, but we haven't used the Kaiju yet. Hey, great! It's water and glacier stage again. Pretty sure it's just the three stages. Pretty sure so far. The models look alright. I mean, that's really not an issue. They look accurate to the movie. It just, it feels depressing to play it. I don't know, I can't really describe it better than that. And he dodged. And yes, I, 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 as a kaiju, I also have energy. I don't know how that makes sense, but as you can see, under my health meter, I do have a percentage, and if I use it all, it will say that I have no energy to attack. I guess they couldn't come up with uh, an alternate energy scheme for the Kaiju. They just reuse what they use for the Jaeger. Even though I don't know why the Kaiju's energy would be me measured as a percentage. 
It's, it's not a robot, it's not a machine. But, oh yes, another thing is that all the characters have an ultimate move, which I haven't used any as of yet. To use the ultimate move, you have to get your energy up to 90%. And from what I've seen, it usually kills in one hit. Getting there. Try to keep this going until I reach 90 and see what we can do. Oh, Crimson Typhoons, one of its drifts is dead. Okay, and let's see if I can do my ultimate thing. Yeah, there it was. It's nothing big, it's just glows and does a lot of slashes. We didn't get to see it because uh, I, I beat the Jaeger soon after the drift died. But if that kept going, you would have seen that uh, the Jaeger with only one pilot could only use one arm. The other arm would be uh, hanging at its side. Let's go up against Cherno Alpha. I always th thought that the design for Cherno Alpha is pretty hilarious. Like, I might ask, why did they build a robot with a giant nuclear tower as its head? But then, you know, I remember what movie that we're talking about. And asking a question like that would be pointless. Yeah, there are stage hazards, as you can see. Knocked him into that iceberg. All right, I didn't use the speed boost yet, so this is the speed boost. I can use this during sometime during the fight, and now I will be faster. It says my attack speed is up 5, and movement speed up 7. So this is just a little boost that you can use at some point during the fight. You want to use it strategically. And I could have chosen speed, power, health up, armor up. I won. Yeah. yeah. Did I, though? Did I really win? Because, after all, I am playing Pacific Rim the video game. There is no winning when I do that. No, none at all. Winged Fury, Otachi the Flying Kaiju has emerged. Okay, so a new Kaiju to go up against. All right, this is the only one selectable that we haven't used yet, Leatherback, so... This is the big gorilla-looking one. Uh... Yeah, let's try sustain energy, why not? Back in Hong Kong, because we ran out of stages. I mean, granted, there aren't too many locations for battles going just from the movie. Still, maybe they could have thought, some, thought something up for the video game, I don't know. I haven't seen Australia yet, as a stage. They could have used that. Even though you only see it for a very short time in the movie. I was about to say, he's not flying now, but he will be eventually. And he's quite annoying as he flies, because he also has a projectile attack. So I, I want to... Ah, he knocked me down. I want to stay up real close to him, so he doesn't have much opportunity to do that. Okay. Wow, Itachi has 100% energy. That's not good if he's actually able to get up and use that. Oh. That was a... I did a lot better against him than I have before. I've usually found Itachi to be, uh to be kind of difficult, especially when he starts flying and starts spitting. You didn't actually get to see any of that, so maybe it wasn't so good that I beat him like that. You know, you didn't actually get to see him fly around. 
Anyway, that's all the playable characters we have so far. Next mission, two kaiju have emerged, we must destroy them. Again, hey, guess which two do you think we have to go up against? I don't know. Gypsy, uh, let's choose the ship. Yeah, go back to Gypsy Danger. Gypsy Danger seems to be the one I tend to do the best with in the time I've... in the happy time I've spent with Pacific Rim, the video game. If that running knee works, if he doesn't block it, it's actually quite good. It usually knocks him down in one hit. Let's see if I can save up my energy to try to do Gypsy Danger's big move. The finish, those big finishing moves are, th I think, aside from the one we saw, I think this is the only thing that we I haven't been able to show so far. So, I mean, looking at this, you can assume that it's meant to be played multiplayer, and obviously I am not. There's online multiplayer. Oh, hold on. Here's my big, big attack. I missed? Oh. All right. Oh, no, I didn't miss. The time limit ran out. That's disappointing. So yeah, there's online play. We're not doing that because I I don't want to ha get Xbox Live Gold. So we're only playing single player. I can imagine that multiplayer. I don't. I'm not sure what it might offer over this. Is there anyone out there who would be really good at Pacific Rim? Is anyone out there offering pro level play? Oh, yeah, here's the, that's his projectile. I don't think we saw that before. Okay, maybe we'll get to see Otachi fly around a, a bit now. You know, speaking of pro-level play, it's a shame Pacific Rim didn't come out a few weeks earlier. Because obviously, it would have been a shoo-in for EVO. Just imagine the money games being played for this. Alright, Gypsy Danger also has a ranged attack. Hold on. Yeah, there it is. So I can be annoying from a distance, too. But it seems like the best strategy against Atachi so far is just getting up real close and just punching him over and over. And I missed. Oh, no, time limit ran out. Not even noticing that. So yeah, like I said, no story mode, no an interaction or anything with the pilots, the drifts. Really none of that. It's just... So far, it's just what you've been seeing here. I haven't seen an offer offering anything else. I mean, like I said, at least there's, like, that create a robot section. Though I haven't really done too much with that. Or really anything at all. Okay, so I have to fight two Jaegers. Okay, next one up was Cherno Alpha. Back to him. I just don't really want to spend too much time with the creator robot, just because of... I mean, if you're going to spend time with that, it's because you'd want to use the robot in the game you'd like to play, right? So, of course, we're not going to spend time with that with Pacific Rim, the video game. Alright, so we haven't seen Jaeger versus Jaeger yet. Well, this is new. Alright, Cherno Alpha also has a ranged attack. Flamethrowers. Oh, 
only got him with that first shot. I wasted too much energy. I have to build that back up in this thrilling contest. Didn't even try to block him. I don't know. All right, that's one. I don't know. Maybe I uh, maybe if you have a bunch of people to play with, you're playing a multiplayer. Hey, maybe it gets better. I don't see how, but I can't rule it out. You know, it's weird to think this. But this actually would have been a really good opportunity for a Kinect game. I don't think I've ever thought that before, but it kind of would be <laughs> doing a first-person Pacific Rim game controlled with Kinect. As atrocious as the Kinect usually is, that might have actually have been a good opportunity for it. Oh no, one of Crimson Typhoon's pilots is dead. Crimson Typhoon does not seem to flinch much when he's getting attacked. I just seem to, f to attack right through it. Fire. More fire. I think that we're going to be just about done with this. But I think the next I think the next mission actually does have a new kaiju, so we might as well look at that. Yeah, Horned King Scunner, the Horned Kaiju has emerged. So yeah, this is one we actually have not seen yet. It's not available to pick to to play as. Uh, let's try to finish it up with Crimson Typhoon against Scunner in Alaska once again. Cuz once again, only three stages. I don't know, it's just kind of depressing, you know? Like I said, you look at something like this, it's quite obvious why it exists. That it's obvious the intention was for people to, to watch the movie enjoy it. Well, oh, look at that. I just got rammed right into the iceberg. Yeah, Scunner is difficult. He's more difficult than the previous kaiju. And then, after seeing the mo the, the movie and liking it, then they, uh, they see that this game's available, and they say, ooh, Pacific Rim, the video game. Well, how can I go wrong? It seems like a game that would make for a good video game. A movie that would make for a good video game. I'm sorry. And then they get this. I'm not doing well at all. So, I think that's why the game depresses me the way it does. Not just because it's so dull, but because I get the impression that it's sort of a scam. I'm actually starting to come back against Gunner. Ah, oh, but I lost a drift. I only have one arm now. Get up. Oh no, he's got about to do a big move. Oh, was able to dodge it. Yeah, so my left arm is inoperable now. I cannot use it. Oh, 
There we go. Well, I think that's gonna do it for Pacific Rim, the video game on Xbox Live Arcade. I've, this is the only platform I've seen it on. I don't know if it was released on PSN. It doesn't matter. You shouldn't get it anyway, even if it was. So I guess it doesn't. More than the mission was failed. So that's it. Pacific Rim. Released July the, July the 12th. At Xbox Live Arcade, a game designed to take advantage of how much you might have liked the recently released movie to get you to buy a quick cash and piece of shovelware developed by Ukes. Good job. Specific Rim the video game.